Russians have invaded Los Santos. They're causing chaos and destroying the streets. The military and the police are doing everything they can to take them out, but I'm on high alert. They could be anywhere. And the last thing I want is for one to be at my door, or under my house, or getting ready to suck my brains out and take over this world. So I've come prepared, and I've got rocket launchers. It's a pretty simple trap. Alien comes inside, grenade launchers destroy them. I've done this on every single entrance around this place, and Franklin himself has, like, every single gun you can imagine. No one is gonna screw with us today. Now let's barricade these- Ah! Ah! Come on! Oh my days. Wait a second. Was that an alien? Are you kidding me? Oh, ah, my head! Wait, you're not an alien, unless- Are you an alien disguised as Simeon? Why won't you pick up your phone? Wait, Simeon, is that you? This has to be an alien disguised as Simeon. Hey, Simeon, when's my, uh, birthday? You don't celebrate birthdays. You're lonely. This is really Simeon. It's actually the same guy. Oh my days. All right, well, uh, Simeon, what do you want from me? The aliens have vehicles I want. Find me the cars, I make you a millionaire. Alien vehicles? Have you lost your mind, Simeon? This is a suicide mission. Which is why I'm not doing it. Good luck. Oh no, I literally have no choice. If I don't do this, Simeon's gonna take me out. All right, Simeon, you got yourself a deal. But I'm only doing this because you got one of those to my face. Now, how did you get in my house anyway? I mean, this trap, it's meant to be foolproof. At the very least, Simeon proof. Well, guys, it looks like I'm collecting cars from aliens. This is the first location. <gasps> The military must have taken down the UFO. Okay, let's just take a little closer look. Oh, with my sniper rifle, actually. I don't really want to use a phone for this. You don't know what these aliens are capable of, so what does it look like down there? The military personnel? No, dude, everyone's on the floor. I think they're dead. They must have taken down the UFO. They would have fought for it. And oh, wait a second, is that... <gasps> no way. I think that might be the vehicle. Is that a mini UFO? <laughs> I gotta get my hands on that, but first, we need to be careful, Frank. There might be aliens down there who are still alive. I mean, there's a reason why the military are dead around the UFO. You know what, Frank? Let's just do a quick little parachute. Frank, and they said parachute. Don't. Oh, my days. Do you want to die, Frank? How am I still alive? Coming through, everybody. All right, if any aliens saw that, they're gonna know they're gonna win this battle. <laughs> okay, brush that off, Frank. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, those guys are leaving in a hurry. Okay, I don't think anyone wants to be around here right now. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really fancy dying. If I come across an alien, I'm taking them out. Area 51 will have to cool back later. Is there anyone around? Oh my days, wait a second. I think there is. There is this alien. Oh my days, dude, what is that? What? Did you see that, dude? Okay, they got some alien weapons. I want to see what weapons those are. Let me just double check. They're definitely dead. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my days. We're actually lucky to be alive, dude. Okay, let's see. What were they using? That was insane. Is this it? The blue thing? Let me find out. Okay, let's see. Uh, up and atomizer. Oh my days. This is what they were using, dude. All right, this is a super powerful weapon. Let me just test it out. Oh my days. Okay, it can move like the heaviest of vehicles. That's crazy. Let's jump inside. I want to see what we can do with this. Okay, this is cool. I am driving a mini UFO. How do we fly with this? I mean, presumably you can fly with this UFO, right? That would be the only logical solution. <gasps> Here we go. Now it's talking. Check it out. Listen to the horn, by the way. That is the creepiest horn I've ever heard on a vehicle. I'm just saying that is, oh my days, don't sink this. All right, maybe don't sink the UFO. I mean, after all, this is still a vehicle. I don't know how it works, but I don't think it works in water, Frank. This came from another galaxy. I'm telling you now, you don't get these vehicles in GTA 5. This is awesome. How do I land this? No, not, not, too, not, too, not too fast, not too fast, Frank. What is wrong with you, dude? All right, careful, careful. Let's land this slowly. And here we go, straight down into the driveway. Nice one. So there's my first ever alien vehicle. It looks pretty cool. I'm a big fan, and I'm sure Simeon will be too. There's a little bullet hole, but apart from that, everything's fine. Oh no. Looks like the police got here first. Hey, uh, officers, can I come through? I, uh, live here. I promise. That's definitely what I do. <laughs> yeah. Alright, they're letting me through. Amazing. Looks like these guys have closed off this entire area, which means another UFO is around here somewhere. I'm not too sure where it crashed. Let's go and find out, shall we? Oh my days. There's undercover cars on the road. This is insane. I can't wait to see what car we get next. If I get another mini UFO, I'm going to be so happy. Is that the military? It is. Oh, my days. They're covered in the lay-by. Okay, so we got military over here as well. This is a pretty big scene right here, guys. Where do you reckon it crashed? I'm getting kind of nervous now. I'm seeing sirens. They're talking to residents as well. There's even more military down here. Okay, let me just get out and ask them where this UFO is. Hey, officers, anyone know where this... Oh, let me put the alien gun away. <laughs> 
Anyone know where this UFO is? I'm part of the forensics team. Where's my uniform? Excellent question. How about you tell me? I was told you were gonna give me my uniform. Right, he's just told me where the location is. Thank you very much, mister. Just over this hill. <laughs> okay, looks like that tactic worked. Oh, there it is, dude. There's the UFO. There's smoke coming from the top and people are alive. Amazing. Oh my days. I am actually so happy to see that. Check it out. Everyone's alive. We got forensics team, some military personnel, the FIB. <gasps> Everyone's turned out right now. Am I not surprised? supposed to see this or something like this? This seems pretty secret to me. Well, wait, hang on a second. They're out. They're already out, dude. There's one of them. There. <laughs> got him. Got him. Got him. Come on. They've come out of the UFO. Are you kidding me? All right. They're actually doing quite a bit of damage to these guys. I gotta go and stop them. I don't know where these aliens are. Oh, but there's this one guy there. Get him with a sniper. Bam. <laughs> yeah. If there's any other aliens standing, I also have the same thing as you guys. They're shooting us from inside the UFO. They think they can actually get away with it. This must have been their getaway vehicle. Well, guess what, guys? It's mine now. Wait, is this from NASA? We're basically taking back what you guys already stole from us. Are you kidding me? All right, jump in, Frank. This looks interesting. It's so futuristic. It's even got a machine gun around the front. All right, this is actually pretty insane. So how do we take off? Do we just... Here we go. All right, we've already done it. We're taking off. NASA, I love this. This is the best vehicle ever. I can see exactly why the aliens decided to steal this. I mean, it's insane. All right, let's move forward and away we go. Can I just point out how amazing that stream is behind? behind us. <laughs> I mean, come on. Not many vehicles do that. Now, looking on the inside, I got a cannon. I have like a million of one different buttons. There's a map over there. There's sonar, radar. There's so many different things going on. Oh, Simeon, I've got the next ride for you. <laughs> You're gonna love this one too. Hey, I better make a lot of money for collecting these rides for you, Simeon. I've risked my life twice now. Why did the weather have to change? This is terrifying. Stay low under the grass. This is a really open area and aliens are gonna be to spot me a mile away. But do you see that cloud of smoke? That's coming from a UFO which crashed right outside the military base. And oh, I can see the lights of it already, dude. Oh my days, this must have been recent. Stay calm, call, and collect. Frank, remember, these aliens, they're not gonna do anything to us because we are better than them. <laughs> now let's just go in first person. I wanna make sure accuracy is as good as we can get it. Hello? Hello? Oh my days, I literally can't hear anyone. There's no one here. Here, dude. Has this just crashed? Am I the first person here? How did Simeon know about this? Wait, is that... <gasps> That's the cup. Oh, but it's his aliens. It's aliens. Get the aliens. Get the aliens. There they are. Get them. Oh, no, you don't. Don't even think about running away from me, aliens. All right. Well, I'm going to go and grab the alien car. Looks interesting. I see they went for the color pink. Huh. <laughs> I didn't realize aliens care about color. And it even has the words caution on the side. Wow, they might even speak similar language. But check it out. There's no name for this. Don't really know what kind of ride this is. It's got three wheels. One on the back, two on the front. There's an alien stuck in front. Excuse me, Mr. Alien, can you get <laughs> what is going on? Dude, this is so weird. I just did a flip because an alien got stuck in the front of my car. Hey, not gonna lie, though. I love those jets out the back. That's actually really cool. I already know that this ride was not designed by a human. No human would design a ride like this. It has jet engines around the back, but like four of them and they're miniature. It even has this like three-wheel design and this really strange front of this thing. Oh my days, that's so sick. It's got neon lights too. That's awesome. Oh, now I think it's even all oh, my days. Okay, it does have a gun. <laughs> I don't know what gun this is, but it's super powerful. All right, this is such a cool weapon, dude. Not even gonna lie. It's kicking up so much dust around me as well. This is insane. Oh, what kind of weapon is that? Tank cannon? Normal cannon? All right, these are explosive rounds. What else have we got on this? Cannon? All right, and then oh, every single one of my boring weapons. <laughs> this is such a sick vehicle. Can I fly with this thing? Something tells me I can. I don't know. It's super smooth on the ground, but I don't, I don't think it can. Okay, this vehicle won't fly, but that's all right. Who needs to fly in this? Right, I have a tank cannon. <laughs> All right, this is hands down one of the coolest rides I've ever driven. It says gear up, gear down. Wait, I think it does fly. I, I'm not even kidding. I genuinely think it does. I need to find out how to fly this machine. I've done it. I've done it. This vehicle does fly. I knew it did. <laughs> All right, check it out, guys. I have another flying alien vehicle. And check it out. There's even like these propellers underneath which come out. It's not exactly doing quite well in this storm. Hopefully, once we get out of the desert, the weather's going to clear up a little bit. But this is insane. Whew, what did I say? Out of the desert and the weather's already cleared up. 
man, that rain was so hard to drive in and yet alone fly in. Picking a favorite vehicle at the end of this video is going to be impossible, but we got to pick one, guys. So you better watch closely because one of these vehicles is going to win. Hey, Simeon, here's your next ride. I hope you enjoy it. Now, where's the next one? Can we please put the gun down? I'm really enjoying this video. No, really? All right, well, Simeon clearly has anger issues. Let's just go and get the next ride, shall we? These aliens have an amazing style of vehicles. I'm just saying they love their cars. Oh, no, this is the reservoir. This vehicle might be underwater. Let's get a closer look. That is a really funky antennae. <laughs> what? I haven't seen a UFO like this yet. Every single one of them has been kind of flat. But this one? Right, I don't know where this one came from, but hey, this looks like some communication UFO. Maybe we can use that to talk to the galaxy they came from. Oh my days. Okay, I'm already thinking of a million and one solutions right here. Where are they? Are there any military people around? Okay, they got a bunker. That's crazy. Usually they keep like rockets in there, like actual huge rockets. That one's broken. Okay, these aliens are giving them a good run for their money. Let's see where they are. Anyone? Oh yes, we got some of them. Bam! Nice. Got him and this guy too. He's confused. <laughs> yeah. Bet you guys weren't expecting snipers. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's confused. Got him. Nice. There it is. There's the vehicle. Well, it's not as big as I thought it was, but let's get closer. It looks interesting regardless. It's got wings. Looks like it could be a bike. Hey, I'm intrigued. I want to see what this is. You have all of these amazing military vehicles, but there's no one here to use them. Where is everyone? Are they too scared to take out the aliens or something? Okay, I'm going to throw a curveball right now, and I am lobbing a grenade straight under the UFO. That ought to, uh, <laughs> you know, take out the aliens before they get me. If there's any under there, of course. Go on, aliens. Get out of here. Scram. Is there anyone even there? Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Oh, my days. They had rail guns. Are you kidding me? Wait, where are the other guys? They're there. They're literally right there. Anyone else? This guy. Oh, my days. They're glowing. What? Why are they glowing, dude? There's an egg. No way. Okay, I'm going to leave the egg do its thing. It looks like it's going to hatch or something. Uh, you know what? It looks like it's going to explode, actually. Let's just grab this ride and get out of here. After all, this is what I came to get. And believe me, it looks interesting. Okay, it's got guns. That's cool. <laughs> Glad this thing has weapons. Oh, it's got like a portal thing underneath. And we fly. Oh, so oh, my days. Okay, forgot about the UFO. Forgot about the... <laughs> Can we get out of here, please? No, watch out for the water. Watch out for the water. Jeez. All right, that was so close. We almost fell into the water there. That would have been such a fail. So I have this flag on the back, which has this, like, red light. That's actually really cool. I have this massive jet engine and these wings around the side. It's an alien motorbike. That's what I'm going to call it. It flies around in the sky. It's technically got, like, no wheels, so it can't actually drive. But, hey, it's a really cool ride. And there's a bunch of different buttons here. I also have a cannon. Do I have any missiles? I got missiles as well. <laughs> Gets better and better and better. And just like that, home sweet home, as if nothing ever happened. Oh, check it out, dude. A billboard came straight down from the sidewalk. Yeah, just another normal day for you guys, clearly. Wait, what are these people just chilling on the bench for? This is so weird. Some trees have come down. Even a crane has crashed into the side of the building. Oh, wait a sec. Wait, hang, on, hang on a second. This is crazy. How, how am I supposed to get that car? Have you got some magnets or something on top of that UFO? What? All right, I need to check this out a little bit more. Well, let's go around the other side. Yep, that's definitely flying in the sky. All right, it seems like this UFO has magnets and their getaway vehicle is stuck on top of them. So I would be really concerned if I were them. But most importantly, I got to get up there too. How on earth am I going to get that car? This is kind of tricky, actually. I need to find a way to do this. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Come on, we can do this. Maybe if I climb this rubble. Oh, boy. Okay, no, it just sent me straight off. <laughs> Check that out, guys. If I try and get any closer to this UFO, it just throws me back. Right? There is no way I'm getting that unless... What if I climb the crane? Yep, that might sound pretty stupid, but it seems like the only option right now. All right, here goes nothing. Come on, Frank, we're doing this. <laughs> this is gonna be insane. Dude, this crane is not stable. I can hear it. Well, we've made it to the top of the crane. That was the scariest journey I've ever done. This crane is gonna fall down like literally any minute, so we better make this quick. At the highest point we can. Okie dokie. Wait, why is it got FIB on the UFO? The FIB find this already? All right, you know what, Frank? Just ignore that. Let's get that car. I'm getting that ride, whether it's the last thing we do. Careful. Careful. Get on, get on. Yes! <laughs> the magnets kept me up. This genuinely feels like the first car I've ever collected today. It's got four wheels. It's got a one-seater. I mean, everything else flies or looks like a UFO or might even be a motorbike. But this is actually the most normal-looking thing. There's not much going on on the inside. It doesn't even have a make or a brand or whatever. Maybe this did come from the 
FIB? Who knows? Either way, it crashed with the alien UFO. And check it out, guys. I can jump with this car. How awesome is that? Oh, and there's even rocket boosts. I didn't even know they had rocket boosts on this. <laughs> All right, that's actually made my day. These aliens knew their stuff. Whenever they get into some trouble, they can just jump up and rocket away as if they were never even there. And try not to wrap themselves around a tree in the process. <laughs> I have a feeling Simeon's gonna die driving this car, but that's not my problem. My problem right now is to deliver this back to my house so Simeon doesn't go on a rampage. Da -da 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 -da. Simeon, check it out. I got your fifth car in the collection. What an amazing collection you're growing today as well. I mean, check it out. So many awesome rides. <sighs> Didn't think I would be going on the mountain today. Hey, soldiers. Boy, is it cold. Am I right? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, no one seems to care. They're doing some breathing on these aliens. Seems like they have a device under the UFO. Looks pretty scary. All right, these guys have already scoped out the area. I want to see what that device is. Something tells me it's what Simeon wants me to ride home. So they're under the UFO. That's where they're hiding out with their device. Looks like they're trying to escape. All right, Frank. I think uh, we only got one option right now, and that's to drop down with... Where is it? Where is it? Where? This is it. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Hey! Oh, my days. Is that your device? All right, I want to get that, but first, let's get the aliens. Uh-oh. Okay, they got miniguns. They got rain miniguns, dude. This is way too powerful. There is no way. There is no way they're going to survive this. Wait, a few of them are. Bye. <laughs> Have a good time, my guy. Wait, the military are shooting me. What are you guys doing? Oh, my days. The military did not like that. Are you kidding me? Hey, come on, guys. Leave me alone. Come on. They don't want me to get the device. I just took out the aliens for you. Oh, no. No. No, the device is falling down the mountain. Franklin, whatever you do, don't lose that device. Ah, ugh, come on. <laughs> Why on earth are these guys trying to kill me? Can't you see? I just did you all a favor. Come on. Franklin, how we're alive right now is uh, the biggest mystery in the universe. I know you guys be asking the same. Let's just call this the power of will to get this device the aliens had, which looked like a giant robot. <laughs> it looked amazing. All right, jump in. So this is definitely a robot. How cool is this? These aliens knew what they were doing. <laughs> all right, pick yourself up and let's take this on the road. Oh, we just gotta get down from the mountain. Oh my days, the military is still shooting me. Do you mind? Seriously? Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> I got missiles on this. Okay, riding down the mountain is uh, a piece of work when you're driving in a giant robot. But I'll get down here eventually and hopefully we'll still be able to work and drive along the roads. So this is the alien robot, Simeon's death machine. If any competitors try and go after Simeon, all he has to do is drive around in this and you can say bye bye to any competition on his radar. <laughs> I would like to see the military try and stop me, but since they're not coming after me, I don't think they will. So, Simeon, it's fair to say your competition is not gonna be your competition anymore. Congratulations, I risked my life for this ride, and somehow I survived. <laughs> How many more are left? Oh, man, there's still more? All right, I want to see what the next one is. We better be careful next time, Franklin. I don't want to end up dying. Another UFO crashed into Los Santos, and this one went on the highway. Okay, I got some police officers over here and that. Now that's the car of interest. That's a massive car. You saw the aliens try and go to it and then they ran back inside. Wow, okay. I'm not surprised with all these police officers out here. <laughs> well, since um, no one's gonna take this car, I may as well grab it. I mean, this looks insane. It's meant for other planets. Let's be honest. Those wheels are huge. What? Reinforced bag. It's got so many supplies on the side. I don't know what kind of food they eat, but maybe we'll be lucky enough and find a bag of chips which came from another galaxy. I mean, who knows? So this ride was meant for space. It's got solar panels on the roof, which must power the entire vehicle. It's got a spare tire on one side, and it has six incredible monster wheels. Let me open the back. With every single door open, there's steps up to the back where you can get your friends to sit down. There's the one door, there's the other door. Yeah, this is a pretty nice ride, and the speed on this ain't even that bad. For a vehicle of this size, I thought it would go much slower, but check it out, guys. I'm actually speeding through the highway like a breeze. It hasn't got any guns, which I suppose is the downside of this ride, but hey, who needs them when you have a vehicle as big as this? All in all, it's a pretty good ride. Where do I even park this? We've literally run out of space. Wait, am I done? I just got $10 million. Thank you very much, Simeon. So does that mean, yes, I can go amazing. Well, I've collected every single alien vehicle in GTA 5. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Smash like if you enjoyed and help us get to 7 million subscribers. Well, thanks for watching. My name is Nort. And until next time, stay awesome.